Hi everyone, here to share with you an album I created using my uh, 6x8 pocket and tag tutorial. Uh, if you remember and watched my video on my pages and my cover and hinges, I actually was using um, Cartabella natural linen paper and so uh, I created an album from that uh, tutorial. Uh, again, using some beautiful paper from the Blue Fern Studios collection. Uh, this one is Courtship Lane and um, gorgeous. Um, I don't think uh, I've seen some prettier paper before. So let me show you what I've done. Here's my album and this is the front cover. What I did was, uh, if I, on the tutorial I told you I was going to make uh, an extended flap, uh, flap for my closure, which I did, and I had this uh, hinge in my collection, so I wanted to use it. Now, it would not work because of the the thickness of my hinge, my flap, my flap, and my base cover, so what I did was I used one of the uh, Graphic 45 uh, door knocker uh, metal thingy and then added my um, ba hinge base to it so that way it would work. Um, I did add, um, use one of the Blue Fern chipboard uh, that I had uh, purchased through Country Craft Creations uh, online store and then what I did was I painted it uh, with acrylic paint white and then I added uh, glitter why the second coat was dry and I added some glitter just to give it a little bit of a shine and I'm not sure if you can see that or not uh, on that. Um, added some flowers from my stash and then I added the two uh, metal corner uh, filigrees that uh, I purchased again from Country Craft Creations online store. So there's the front and then I'll show you the spine and I'm going to try to get it in here so you all can see it and it's not the best um, so uh, added some lace that I purchased at Hobby, uh, Hobby Lobby uh, used some seam binding from Country Craft Creations for a bow and then added a little bit of a uh, charm there and my back uh, just simply used uh, paper from the paper line, the collection. And again, it's Blue Fern Studios Courtyard Lane collection. And then this is the other side here. So, flip this open. And let's see if I can bring this into focus. So, on my cover page, I just made a small pocket and added. Uh, three of the cutout uh, tags. Uh, one, one's a calling card and then I created two more tags from the extra paper I had. Uh, inking all of them with uh, Tim Holtz, uh, I believe it was vintage, uh, it's walnut stain is what I used on this one. I used the walnut stain on all the pages. So, Moving on to the first page, I have my pocket uh, up here that pulls out a tag. And then I've got three more tags that I put inside the belly band. There's the first one. And then another one. And all I did was cut the paper line down, my extra paper, and created tags with them. And then the last one, which is that one. So this flips open and as you can see uh, the gorgeous flower uh, print theme going on with this. This is my side pocket which I added some lace that already had pearls on it and as you can see I've used it throughout the whole book here. And then I've got my side pocket here. I've got three little tags, two of the calling cards and then I created a tag from uh, extra paper on the paper line. Let's 
page opens up and we've got a pocket here which I have again created two tags great for photos or on uh, journaling this is our little pocket flap here which I put in two of the calling cards the back pocket with the two pockets so I've got a, call, a calling card there that's kind of tight I'm not sure why and another calling card here my side pocket over here um, again I created another tag from extra uh, uh, paper from the collection and I love this the little boy and the girl uh, on the fence and it's again can be a photo man on one side journaling on the other side here and then one of the calling cards that these walls could talk is what that one says now the first page because it's so thick with the um, flap and the pockets and that I did not put an insert tag but I did add on the other four pages uh, in uh, a slide out tag that's going to hold a nice uh, five by seven photo or a couple of four by uh, sixes uh, you can put one here or a couple of the three by fives and I only did one side And then it's our third page with the side uh, corner pockets. And I've just added a calling card in each one of them. Isn't this paper just gorgeous? So then for our next one, again, I have a pullout. Well, Let's see if I can get this one out. Looks like he's stuck on me. Okay, well it is there and I will have to go back in and fix it so because it is kind of tight. So then we have the Chevel pocket here, a couple of calling cards up here, photo mats, and then another photo mat down here. Great area here for some journaling. On this one, I did have a magnet closure, but because of the thickness of the paper, it just wasn't holding. So I took some of the seam binding, which is the green moss, and added it to the page. So the front one flap, we have a pocket that's holding two of the calling cards right there. And then you're going to open this up, and it's going to open up to a full, nice 6x8 uh, page for great for a lay uh, main one big photo and then I made two side pockets on the next page with uh, photo tabs on each one or a little journaling card uh, calling card for each one there Put this back up. And then we scoot it over again and there's our little side flap. Here's another one of our uh, main uh, tags. This one comes out a little bit easier than the other one done. So, uh, and then I've got the next page, which is our mini uh, flap pocket. And I just added a calling card in there. And I did use a corner uh, circle punch to punch out my thing. Another great area of layout for a large photo there. And then on our last page uh, is our little pocket flap here, which has a calling card in it. And this one says, There's no place like home. And then you've got another great area for photos and then some journaling over on this side here and again that's magnet this is magnet as well and then the last page is our single pocket and I just uh, put some extra cut out some uh, extra paper that I had and inked around the edges and made some photo mats with that as well or journaling cards 
And then on the back cover, I went ahead and I um, created a small waterfall. So love this, and I, I so I had to get it incorporated into the album here somehow. Just a beautiful old bar house uh, style house, which is just gorgeous with all the flowers and the the colors. Uh, so what I did was I just used some seam binding to hold this one down using the um, light blue, pale blue seam binding, and then you just have uh, the waterfall that folds down. So that would hold, um, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, ten out uh, photos there. And then I just wanted to, again, I think that's one of my favorite uh, part of this whole collection was this, uh, picture of this house so I just used a little bit and cut the side for here. So that's my album. Uh, lots of areas for photos, lots of areas for journaling, and um, love this paper line. Again, it's the Blue Fern uh, courtyard, Courtship Lane collection. And I believe uh, Tamara still has it available on her site at Country Craft Creations. Thanks for watching. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.